the legal action to get cryptocurrency exchange Gemini's lawsuit dismissed has finally been filed in court by Digital Currency Group and its leader Barry Silbert. In July 2023, the crypto exchange filed a lawsuit about the situation. In its case, it claimed DCG had falsified financial reports and factual information. DCG's failure to reply to Gemini's final offer led to the filing of the lawsuit. The offer requested payment of $1.465 billion in cash, BTC and Ethereum. The Gemini Earn program offered in association with Genesis was shut down due to Genesis paused withdrawals, causing a back and forth clash between Gemini and DCG, the parent company of Genesis. DCG labeled the lawsuit as a smear campaign citing social media allegations made by Gemini co-founder Tyler and Cameron Wilkelvoss. The court filing explains that the lawsuit was a public relations campaign and not a legal action. Gemini relisted the XRP token after three years, allowing trading for USD, GBP and EUR currencies. The exchange announced support for the XRP Ledger blockchain and opening Gemini API, FIX and Active Traders application for XRP USD trading pairs. The XRP price showed little reaction to the relisting news as excitement died down in July 2023 due to Coinbase and Kraken re resuming trade. Gemini has made the XRP Ledger available for deposits on its platform, allowing trading for USD, GBP, EUR, CAD, HGD, HKD and AUD pairs. The Gemini mobile app and website now supports XRP trading for 14 blockchain networks including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Dogecoin and Litecoin. The native XRP token supports the XRP Ledger's peer-to-peer -peer networks of nodes run by Ripple, which aims to reduce cross-border transactions and remittance costs. Ripple's crypto solution business uses the XRP token as a bridge currency, settling transactions in multiple fiat currencies for financial institutions. To resolve SEC claims that it ran an unlicensed national securities exchange broker and clearing agency cryptocurrency company Bitrix has agreed to pay $24 million. William Shihara, the former CEO of the company and Bitrix Global, a former affiliate, have both agreed to resolve accusations. In April, the SEC filed a complaint against Bitrix alleging the company had assisted US investors with cryptocurrency assets that were being offered and sold as securities. Bitrix and Williams were accused of directing issuers to delete problematic statements from public channels to avoid regulatory investigation of crypto assets. The SEC claims Bitrix worked with token issuers to evade federal securities law by scrubbing their online statements. Bitrix had previously announced its intention to shut down in the US by April. The firm has not admitted or denied the SEC's allegations but has agreed to disgorgement of $14.4 million, prejudgment interest of $4 million and a civil penalty of $5.6 million. That's all in this bulletin for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3 TV. and for more information and stories, log on to our website www3worstv.io or scan the QR code.